Hey, I'm going to do another quick video of showing you how to string this hand. This is a small child's hand. It should be the smallest size that the Quavo 3 will print. And so I thought I'd do that as the example of stringing. Um, it's a lot easier to string the Quavo 3 than it was the Quavo 2. So I just wanted to show that real quick. Um, before I do the stringing, I just wanted to make a note about um, the fingers. By this point, when you're getting ready to string, you want to make sure that these fingers are really easy to bend, right? These should just, these should, should bend and snap back really easy. I have, for example, here um, uh, an older Phoenix, and, and right, it should be easier to bend than these, right? This, this takes me, you know, these bend fine and everything, but, but, but these should be easier and, and bounce about the same. Um, one improvement I made on the Quavo 3 over the Quavo 2 is, um, the sure a hardness of these hinges you can see the little um rectangular hinges that that form the uh the actual bending point this hand here is in a sure a hardness 95 which is about the stiffest i would recommend you go it still bounces pretty good um but it works and that's an improvement i changed the shape of these knuckles and hinges so that it works better with that hardness um this is a sure a hardness 82 um, I still think it works better. If you can print in 82, um, it's a little springier, softer, um, then do it. It's gonna, you're gonna get better results. But nowadays, you know, if all you can do is 95, it's still gonna work. It's gonna work fine. Um, so again, let's um, go ahead and string this hand. Um, so the big difference between a quad with two and a three is when we string the ripple tree, we're only going one time through and it's gonna go up um, each finger and then tie off in the finger ends again similar to the the phoenix hand style as opposed to going back into the palm and tying off there which the Quavo 2 did. All right, the easiest way I found to do this to feed the string through the whipple tree um, for two of the fingers and I'm going to start with these two um, fingers on the outside edge. Now I've pulled the string all the way through you can see it's a single string that goes down one finger, through the Whipple tree, and up the other finger. Now what I'm gonna do is tie it off at this uh, center finger. So I've just got two half hitches there for now, and pull it tight. And now I'm gonna put a, I said I've only got one half hitch in there right now, um, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna explain the idea of what I wanna do. I wanna pull this, um, to get the tension right, I'm gonna pull this string pretty much as hard as I can, right? Now, my Whipple tree is gonna to touch up against the inside there when I pull hard. And so what I want is this string to be, I'm gonna hold these two fingers straight. It's kinda of hard to see the way the camera is, but what I wanna do is hold these two fingers straight out. So it's their maximum openness. And I wanna tie as tight as I can the string while they're maximally open, which will of course pull the Whipple tree as tight as it can go. So that's as far as open as the fingers can go, but that's straight out, which is the, the goal I'm looking for, right? So I'm gonna pull this string tight while the fingers are held straight out. And then at that position, I'm gonna go ahead and tie it off. Now, I would err on the side of a little extra tight, right? Um, because I find that this string, you know, the knot always slips slightly as I'm working it, and or the string stretches a little, little bit later. So if anything on the, the thing I just told you about tying it with the finger straight, I'd go a little bit tighter than that, right? Um, a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull that, pull these straight, pull that pretty much as tight as I can get it, right? So now with those fingers straight, right, the Whipple tree is tied up against the inside. And I'm gonna finish that off with a third half inch each side before I'm ready to put some CA glue on it. All right, now I'm gonna do the, um, the second two fingers. I'm gonna do the same technique. Well, the Whipple tree's already in there and two of the fingers, so I'm just gonna do the same thing again.
All right, so now I've got those two strings pulled all the way through. I'm gonna tie off um, this finger here. Slide that knot up as tight as I can get it. I just like to do that. Now again, the, the goal is to stretch these fingers straight and tie this one as tight as I can get it while these fingers are held straight. All right, there we go. So now when I hold these fingers straight, the Whipple tree is tied up against the inside. So again, that's the maximum that you can open the hand, um, but that's it gives it everything nice and even. All the fingers are even um, and everything is tight. That's what I want to say. It's a nice flat hand and everything is tight. Nothing, one finger isn't bent more than the other when I make them all flat like this. All right. Now I'm gonna do the thumb. It's the same technique. I'm going to tie the thumb off and then bend it back as far as I can while the string is tight. So first I'm going to tie it inside. All right, got that knot as tight as I can. Um, one thing here before, if I hadn't said already, when you're tying these two Whipple trees together, you're tying them in this structure. Um, the, the long thumb end is here, the short end is there, and there's a little arrow over here that um, is printed in that, that points to the thumb. So you wanna make sure that you get right, that little arrow points to the thumb. This Whipple tree is not the same length on each side. It's slightly off center to make the um, index and thumb close first. All right, so I've got the string pulled through, it's tied tight on the inside. I am going to go ahead and put two half hitches here on the outside. So again, I'm pulling that as tight as I can and holding the thumb straight in the most open position so that the, the piece will butt up against as far as it can go and the thumb is in the, and I'm holding the thumb in the most open position. That's how you get it, the right tension on the string. All right, I've got that where I like it. Um, so again, these are tensioned right, the thumb is tensioned right, you can flatten the hand out, and everything is touching inside. That's where I like it. So I'm gonna dot a little CA glue on each of these knots all over the hand, and uh, let the CA glue set, and then I'll, I'll cut these extra bits off. All right, thank you very much. That was um, um, stringing the new Quawu 3 hand and then stringing up the palm, uh, sorry, up the arm is a whole nother video. Thank you.